been quite a while since we had last talked about continue dev for those who do not know continue dev is an open source platform that lets you build and run ai agents to assist with coding automation and development tasks whether it's in your ide terminal or ci pipelines and recently they have been shipping some really impressive ai features that's why today i'm back again to showcase their latest launch called workflows a new feature that allows you to run background AI agents continuously across your entire development lifecycle. It's something that can handle everything from bug fixes to automated PRs so you can focus on the big picture. And the great thing is they also have a new CLI tool and essentially it's an open source modular coding agent for the command line that introduces continuous AI, making AI assistance as natural as syntax highlighting, which you can get started with right away. But let's actually take a further deep dive on what Continue Dev's workflow is. This is essentially a new feature that lets developers run continuous background AI agents directly from their projects. Think of it as an agent that's running 24 seven. So instead of working in a simple request and response way, workflows is gonna be something that allows AIs to stay active. It can fix bugs, generate code for you, you can run tests or scan for security issues like I showcased in the demo video, all automatically across your entire development lifecycle. It's like having an AI teammate that keeps coding, testing, and improving your project even when you're not watching. In short, workflows equals continuous AI. You can run and manage background agents and automate development tasks. You can create PRs and evolve your code base in real time. To get started, you can head over to the Continue Dev Hub, which is something that I'll leave a link to in the description below. You can go ahead and create an account completely for free. After signing up or logging in, you're gonna be then greeted with a couple of different models, rules, and MCP servers you can use to create custom AI coding agents. These are just helpful, different modular tools that you can use in different ways. But we'll take a look at this a little while later. To access workflows, you can simply click on this tab and it'll take you to this place. Essentially, in natural language, you can describe what you want continue to do and it's gonna be able to continuously run and manage these different agents that can automate various sorts of tasks that we had specified. You would have saw two different options, connecting to GitHub as well as providing your model API. And essentially, once you have provided those two keys or environment variables, you can then start working with workflows. This is where you can run these agents in whatever desired repository you may have to create PRs or to evolve your code base in real time. So for example, I selected my DeepSeek web crawler repository and you can see that I ran one continuous agent where I was just simply requesting it to do some security checks across the code base and automatically fix any unsafe patterns such as evals or unsanitized inputs. You can see that it searched through context as to what it needs to fix it searched through my code base by reading through all the files and afterwards it used a couple of different tools like reading editing and it attempted to edit these files making sure that it implemented the correct changes and if you want to look at all the changes it had actually worked upon you can then take a look at the pull request it has created and you can see the continue dev bot was able to create this pull request on the security measures it has fixed and you can see the comprehensive detailed response it was able to output talks about all the different issues it has fixed all the different file changes where it has modified different files and it talks about what it has changed it has also created new files and vulnerabilities have been addressed testing recommendations rate limiting tests and a couple of other measures now what you can also do is if you head back into workflows if you scroll all the way to the top you can take a look at all the diffs that were changed and this way you can see all the different small changes the coding agents were able to implement so that you can visualize what changed and what did not. And what's great is that this continuous workflow is going to allow you to work alongside the AI agents to keep improving on whatever you're working on. For example, I wanted to focus on automated testing coverage. So where I told it to analyze the current test coverages and automatically generate new tests for any uncovered routes, functions, or modules. You can see that it is working on searching through the listed items, running different arguments, and then finding certain things to actually check for existing test configurations. This is the value added from workflows because 
it is something that's practical and developer focused because it is something that will be able to offload repetitive tasks for you, like fixing these small bugs or updating dependencies or even writing boilerplates for you, which you can see that it is working on helping me run these different task coverages. And there we go. looks like it has finished working on the security hardening and it has created the new pull request edits where it modified couple of different files and gave me a comprehensive understanding of what it had changed. And thanks to the continuous workflow that was running, it was able to keep my repos test suite future proof every time you add any sort of new code and the AI is going to be able to match these tests, which you can see with this commit over here. Also, another thing is, is that you have the ability to open this up with the continuous CLI. So you can copy this to clipboard and then access it within the continue dev CLI. That leads me to the next section of today's video, which is continuous CLI. If you click on continuous CLI beta, you can simply install it with the NPM command. You can select an agent that you want to use, which we'll talk about in a second. Remember at the start, I was talking about this hub. Well, essentially, this is a model list, a rule list, and an MCP server list. These are different modular nodes that can enhance whatever tool or agent that you want to use. You can basically power your AI agent to use different models, different MCPs, as well as different plugins. And to get started, what you'll need to do first is click on this plus sign and create a new agent. Once you have given it a name, a slug, a description of what you want it to do, you can click on create agent. Afterwards, you can then have it so that you can power this AI agent with different servers, like using context 7 MCP. You can also use different models. You can configure the YAM as well, provide custom rules, prompts, as well as context. And once you have provided all this, you can click on use agent either within the continue dev open source extension, which is similar to something like Klein or root code. And you can essentially use this configured agent that we have created directly within our IDE, or you can have it so that you can use it with the CLI. This is by simply just selecting the agent that we had created and then run the command after you have installed continuous CLI. So let me just showcase this. Open up your command prompt. You can install it using the npm install command. So paste this in, click enter. And once you have finished installing continue dev CLI, you can then run the command within your terminal to then prompt open your coding agent. And there we go. You can see that continuous CLI is now working with our MCP server and the model that we had set within the agent tab. You can see that I had set the Claude Sonnet 4.5 as well as set the context MCP. And then we can now access that directly within the CLI. And you can see that now it is working on a task that I have given it. This is where I told it to continuously generate small JavaScript utility functions and then create an example usage and test for each and then document them in a local file following my context 7 MCP rules. And you can see that it is asking if it can continue with the creation of the JavaScript utility. Essentially, this CLI tool is an open source AI coding agent that brings continuous AI into your terminal, letting background agents that you create with continue to assist with coding, testing, and PRs like you saw without interrupting your workflow. And with MCPs, as well as like the custom models that you can set, rules, or tools, you can fully tailor your agent, your code base, and the new workflow plus the remote sessions lets you run distributed AI workflows, which are visible through the actual CLI. And from manual assistance to zero intervention automation, you get granular permission and flexible coding Put you in the control with AI continuously improving your project. This is the capability of the CLI tool. And this CLI tool is pretty good, guys, because it can make multi file edits. It can also show you diff changes. And then once it finishes, it'll give you a good comprehensive analysis of what AI changed. And there we go. It looks like it has given us the project structure, the categories and highlights, the string utilities, the array utilities, and a couple of others, key features like error handling, edge cases, usage as to how you can use it, any functions that you can use. And it also talks about how it used the MCP to get the documentation because Context 7's main feature is to get updated documentations. And it was able to provide that with this generation with the continuous AI agent. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, 
you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on exploring the continue CLI as well as the continuous AI agents and workflows, which is where you can supercharge your AI developer workflow with these powerful AI agents. You can generate code as you saw with this workflow. You can run tests as well as documentation automatically and tailor everything to your workflow with custom needs. This is the capability of the continuous AI. And this is something that you can easily get started with for free because this is an open source tool. And with this new feature set, you can have it so that it could become your continuous partner in the development process. So if you're excited to see what continue AI can do for your project, you can try setting it up with your own agent and experiment with custom MCP rules. And you can even share your results in the description below. But that's basically it guys for today's video on the new continue dev updates. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Huge props to them for sponsoring today's video. And if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. This is another way for you to get new AI news. Make sure you join the newsletter. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as the Twitter page. And make sure you take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you can truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.